to begin you need to weigh out accurately 0.2 grams of your sediment into a beaker and then add 100 mils of 8% sodium hydroxide solution. You then want to place it onto a hot plate to simmer at 95 degrees for an hour. After an hour, remove the solution from the hot plate and then you want to pour all of it into a 200ml volumetric flask. Use a funnel to do this, making sure that the funnel end is aligned with the top of the flask. Once you've filled, put through all your sample, you then want to fill the flask up to the 200ml line with distilled water. Do you want the base of the meniscus to be on top of the line? Then stop at the, the volumetric flask and invert several times because you want this solution to be well mixed. Then take a Watman number one filter, fold it in half and then in half again and then you can open it out into a cone shape. And place that in your funnel and then you want to decant or filter 50 mils exactly into the 50 mil volumetric flask of the 200 mil solution. Again make sure that you've got the bottle aligned you don't want it sitting in the bottle in the flask but you want it sitting just above. You need to be careful that you do stop at 50 mils if you've still got excess um, solution in the funnel, just put a beaker underneath and you can catch the rest. You then want to tip that 50ml solution into a 100ml volumetric flask. Try and get it all in, not spill it. You could use a funnel for this part as well if you wanted to. And then you want to top up with distilled water up to the 100 centimetre cube line. And again, you need to be accurate with this. Again, stop at the, the volumetric flask and invert several times because again, you want this solution to be, to be mixed. and you're now ready to use the spectrophotometer to measure the transmittance. To use the spectrophotometer, first you need to switch it on and let it go through its warm-up stage. And then you need to check by pressing number one that you're on the transmittance percent and the, that you're on 540 nanometers. Click OK for that and then you want to run a a standard through and we're using distilled water which will have 100% transmittance. The beam will go through the, the side and you want there's an arrow at the top which you need to line up with the arrow on the machine so I need to turn that round and put it in and then you press the blue button there and that should give you a reading of 100%. So the machine is now calibrated and we will do that for you in the practical. You're now ready to analyse your sample and again you want to fill up to the, the mark, the line there that I've just shown you with your sample. It's frosted at the top so it's easy to see where you need to, to go to. And then you want to line up the arrows again 
and I need to turn that round, place it in and then for running a sample you press the green button and that will give you a value in percent transmittance and this will give you, this is reading 12.1. You then want to do that three times for your sample using new cuvettes each time.